This week on Scam School, it's warlocks and death. Also, logic math puzzles. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome to the show that's like the cool uncle you had who didn't care when you went to bed or what the hell you watched on TV. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we have an unbelievable challenge. It's a math logic puzzle. It doesn't feel like math or logic. It'll break your soul and hurt your feelings, and I offer to you a personal challenge. You've got to tweet me if you think you've got what it takes to beat me. That's trademarked, by the way. I just, you pay me a nickel every time you say that from now on. Let's do this. Okay, this is fantastic. We have Michael back again. We hung out previously. This is uh, Crystal and Stephanie. Oh, there you go. I almost didn't shake your hand. I was almost like, what's up, Crystal? So anyway, so I want you to imagine. We're hanging out at this bar. And all of a sudden, like, helicopters start coming outside. You hear, like, bullhorns and loudspeakers. The police show up. They break in, and it's the witch police. And they arrest. There are witch police. Don't, don't do this to me. Yes. And, it's, uh, and then uh, Michael and I are arrested and accused of being warlocks. And because they think we're warlocks, they have to arrange a test to see whether or not we actually have witch powers. So the way they do it is they take a deck of cards, they're going to deal each of us a card. And they're going to ask us to try to guess what the other person's card is. So you look at it, now we'll say the, just the color of the card, whether it's a red card or a black card. So we would look at our cards, we'd look at each other, we would use our fake powers, and we would either guess whether it's a black card or a red card, or a red card or a black card, right? If we are both correct, and by chance we happen to correctly guess each other's card, then clearly it's evidence that we have warlock powers and we have to be shot on sight, and our bodies have to be set on fire. Oh, yeah. And then they grind up the bones, and then they <laughs> make it into a fine tea, which we don't want, right? However, if we're both wrong, then clearly we're two drunk jackasses at a bar, and we get set free, which would be awesome. So we want to be wrong in this scenario. Now, if one of us is right and the other one's wrong, well then clearly that's evidence that uh, more testing is needed, and they'll do another trial. Make sense? So, obviously there's four ways it can come out. You can have uh, both of us be right, both of us be wrong. Michael be right, me be wrong. Me be right, Michael be wrong. Which means, what are the odds in the first trial that we'll end up burned at the stake? 25%. 25%, right? What are the odds that we'll survive? 75. 75, either set free or to do another trial. Now, I, I don't know, what are the odds for two times in a row? Because let's say we have to go a second time. What are the odds we'll survive a second time? 75%. 50, 75%. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody yeah. knows some hard hard math over here. Yeah, what you do is with probability, when you have multiple trials, you multiply 75% times 75%, which is nicely done, 56%. Uh, and so if you added a third trial, you would take 56% times 75. And you keep going. Uh, at 10 trials, it becomes like one in the hundreds. The odds of us going through the entire deck 26 trials and never once accidentally both picking the, picking each other's card are one in like 2,000, right? Highly, highly unlikely. So we we should be screwed. But the good news is that when they captured us and we were in the paddy wagon, uh, because paddy wagons is apparently what they put warlocks in. <laughs> <It's still laughs> They're all over the they place. explained to us the testing protocol and they said that we would be in separate rooms so there's no way we could communicate, so no code would work. We would have no way of knowing what the other one's card is, so it's not like markings on the cards would help. But I said, Michael, I've got a strategy. I saw this video on the Singing Banana Channel once before. <laughs> And we came up with our secret strategy, okay? Yeah. So what I want to try is here, to simulate, we'll do this. Stephanie, you go ahead and shuffle up the cards. Okay. And I will put it out there. There's, I guarantee you, we're not using trick cards. There's no markings. Uh, we're obviously very close because we're at the bar. There's none of this like poking. To, there's no code between us. And uh, we'll just kind of let's throw this little border up here. That's definitely not a priority mailbox that I stole from the post office. Stop accusing me. So what we'll do is I don't, I won't see what card you pick. I also won't see what your guess is. But we're gonna see if my strategy works for 26 rounds in a row. 
And then, here's the most important part, we're gonna see if you guys can figure out what our strategy was. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so start us off, Stephanie. Just deal us each one card. All right. All right, here we go. I'm gonna look at my card, he's gonna look at his. All right, we're gonna think about, I have selected, what did you say? I said red. You think I have red? Yes. Bad news, bro. I had red. We're totally gonna burn at the stake unless you get this one. Now, I thought you had black. What color do you have? I have red. Yes. Oh, good, so we missed, we missed one. That's good, okay. So, bring it again, Captain. Rocket. Let's just, we can even speed this up. This is trial number, uh, what are we up to? Eight? Eight, okay. Oh, yeah. This is trial number eight. You think the round numbers have? I'll tell you what, no more, don't tell us the round numbers anymore. No more round numbers from here on. Just keep on going. All right. this the entire th time all the way through three times and I could not see I could not decipher any pattern there's nothing that made sense or, and with, we already promised no code no peeking on the cards it doesn't matter what's in the deck uh, it's just straight up logic and here's the challenge that I have for you guys and for the folks at home is if you think you have it, I want you to tweet me. You can post it in the comments right now, but you're, I know you guys in the comments, you were like, I totally knew it, whatever, I don't believe you. <laughs> Prove it to me by pausing it, seeing if you can figure it out. This is a pinky promise honor thing. You tweet me at Schwood, at S-H-W-O-O-D, and tell me what your theory is before we come back from the break and thank our sponsors. Here, pretend to toast me with your fake drinks. Oh, Stephanie found a drink. <laughs> this tree is gonna die someday. I'll die someday. Everyone I ever knew or ever loved is gonna die someday. But you know what's gonna die before all of them? My data. In fact, I wish I had a time machine. Would have gone back and signed up for Carbonite. I mean, Carbonite is the automatic backup solution. It takes all those sweet, sweet photos of the frat party where your buddy threw up all over his chest and it would have saved it. If only I'd listened to that weirdo magician on the internet and signed up for Carbonite, I could have used promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout. I would have gotten two months free, the service would have been automatic, and I would have slept easier knowing that no matter what else happened in my life, all my data was backed up to the cloud where it'd be available unlimitedly. Seriously, use promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout, get two months free. Carbonite's the best thing ever! Okay, so where is your head at right now? First of all, is that pretty amazing as you watch and you can't really tell what's going on? Yes, it pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly the response I wanted. Do you have a theory? Do you think you know how it works? I, I think I do, I think I do. I noticed that for maybe the first eight to 10, you always kept your thing on black. Like you always get black for him. I, I don't know say, what that- No, and that's like, good, that's good. Uh, one of the things about anything that uses completely random information, and it is truly random, because you shuffled the cards, yeah. is occasionally they call them like statistical artifacts. And in fact, there's a uh, there are mathematicians who do this bold claim where they say, uh, if you get one group of people to roll a dice or flip a coin heads or tails and chart all the results on a board, and you get another group to just fake it, to just just 
choose heads or tails, heads or tails, they say they can walk in and look at both tables and instantly know which one is the real coin flip. And the answer is, is because in real life, a coin will flip eight times in a row, heads, but nobody thinking the fake heads or tails would ever on purpose do tails eight times in a row. So they go and they look for those statistical artifacts. So what you said, and this is perfect, right? Because you saw a statistical artifact. That actually has nothing to do with how this was actually done. What about you, Crystal? Okay, so I got mad because I was trying to look at your cards and see what the what the numbers were because I yeah. thought it was was numbers or you know high low on the range or what is it was in the suits and I couldn't really see yours so I gave up but I'm watching his <laughs> and I I think I know what it is. All right? What? What? Okay, but I don't know why it works. So okay, oh this is good. You know, but you don't know why. All right. Um, I got mixed up on which uh, rounds were which, but it seemed like on even or odd rounds that you guys would choose the opposite color of the card in front of you, and on the other <laughs> rounds you would do what? Okay, so I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the problem with us cooking up this idea and trying it for the first time. <laughs> is that is that we have to we have to be all like, hey, it's which round again? Not that not that it matters. It doesn't matter what round it is. Okay. So here, here's the way it works. At any given time, one person operates under the assumption that both of us were dealt the same color. The other person, at that same time, operates under the assumption that we were dealt different colors. As long as that's the case, and as long as both sides operate under those contradictory assumptions at the same time, there will never be a time that both of us will be right at the same time. Because if you notice... You don't operate under the same rules on the same round? Well, okay, if we were gonna do this a simple way, and I feel like you would have busted us on this, we could say, Brian will always assume that we both have the same color. And then, and, and Michael will always assume that we don't have the same color. And then it's very quick and easy. But I feel like that would be more bustable, right? Yeah. So we worked up a scheme where we alternated to kind of throw you off the track, and we split it up into evens and odds. The side effect of this was because we're not very bright, we kept needing to know which round that we were on. And if we were smart, we would have ushered it through. So in that case, you had an advantage because you were here watching us work it through live, whereas the folks at home are only seeing the data set. But that was amazing. Congrats. Whoa, yeah, fuck yeah! That was incredible! Dude, thank you so much, Crystal. That was very well done. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Screw you, Michael. You screwed the whole thing up. Way to go. First of all, I want to give a huge thanks, first and foremost, to our friend Dr. James Grind out of Cambridge University. How great is this puzzle, man? And the fact that he uses the simplest of mathematics utterly fried me the first time I went through this whole thing. Now, I don't know if you were personally fooled or not, but I hope you had a good time. Tweet me over at twitter.com slash schwood. Tell me what you thought. Do you like these challenges where I call you out personally? Or would you say, get back to the card tricks, magic boy? And then you do that snide thing, and I'm just like, hey, man, that was hurtful. I didn't need to hear that. You know what I do need to hear is your success stories and failure stories with scams just like these. Post them down in the comments right down below. I answer all that stuff. And you can follow the show at twitter.com slash scamschool. Don't forget, if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at schwood.com. And next week, you're not going to want to miss it. We're going to learn how you can melt a brain by heating it up to about 475 degrees in a saucepan with a little bit of butter on top. Once it's melted, you throw in some onions and you got a brain saute. Yeah.